Hi, I'm Susan Anton, your host of She Angels. Welcome back to She Angels. Today, we are meeting with both winners of the She Angel Pitch Fest at the extraordinary home of She Angel investor Celia Khan. Hi! Melissa! So good to see you! So good to see you! Thank you for having us! Melissa is also here with me today and we are both being coached and it's so much fun actually to be with an entrepreneur who's struggling with the same things at the same level so I'm really thrilled that we're here together. Today the goal is to improve their projection to a better bottom line and I think I can do that with both of them. I finally got take, to take a look at your financial statements Great. and I just want to talk to you about certain things maybe that we can improve, change. Well, I think your cost is phenomenal. You mean to tell me your cost, for example, for something like this includes fabric, labor, production, yep. everything. Yep. It's very good. Basically, I was a fashion designer first, then I became a CPA, so I've learned to use both sides of my brain. As a CPA, I just didn't look at the numbers for the numbers sake because numbers really tell you a story. And we have a whole range of small bags and those are now selling best for us and so that's what we're focused on. I'm just curious about something. When I looked at your financial statement, the thing that struck me the most is that typically in the fashion industry, your gross margin should be closer to maybe 70. Yours is 33%. Yeah. Can you explain to me why it's so low? I'm not sure what you mean. In order for you to sell this bag for $25, you already have incurred like maybe 15 or $16. Am I correct in, in assuming My that? My wholesale cost is $12.50. $12.50? Then it's not 33%. Your, your, your gross margin, which mm -hmm. is what you have left, yeah. once you sell the bag, is higher than the 33%, which is better. And she actually uh, saw that my cost of goods was actually um, better than she had originally thought. And so there was kind of this relief that, you know, maybe our business model is a little bit stronger than I thought. Well, the good news, artist, yeah. is that you're in much better shape than I thought <laughs> when I looked at your financial because it was rather scary. Okay, okay. You get so emotionally involved in what you're doing as an entrepreneur, you get so lost in the details, sometimes you forget to see if you've really got the foundation of a business. And that's really my takeaway, is make sure that that business foundation, that financial foundation is solid. I think that your, your gross profit is going to be definitely much higher than okay, I thought. Good. Okay, which good. will allow you to uh, spend the money in marketing. Now where I see some problems is in your fixed costs. Like for example, you have very little payroll, yeah. you have very little marketing. The key with her is to be able to delegate to find personnel so that she can achieve the growth she needs because she just can't do it as one person. You're used to, to, to doing everything alone. It's very difficult to let go, but that will be your key to success. Yes. You must let go. Yes. And you must let other people manage these different parts because your margin speaks for itself. You can't be successful unless you're willing to take that risk and take the fear and just shove it aside. Cost four dollars to make. It's awesome. Yeah. You're definitely on the right track, I have to tell you. The financial aspect is great, but there's also the personal aspect, which Andrea Quinn is a master at. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. I'm Andrea Quinn, and I'm a life and empowerment coach. I help people empower their inner lives so that they can create the outer lives that they want to live. You know, it's one thing to want to do something, but then it's the reality of, oh, actually really doing something and can I can I show up for myself how are you going to take yourself and unblock yourself she just really just jumped into it found out what the blocks were and she knew instantly what the answer was I really have a block about being as big as I need to be in terms of the business being as big as it needs to be to accomplish our mission and really have an impact. You know, I'm a single mom, I have a young daughter. It's like, well, you should be spending more time. You should be doing that. When you begin to understand the value of the mission versus your own personal fears, what's wrong, especially over here, is that you're making it about you. <laughs> Thank you. Right? And it's not about yeah, you. Exactly. It's about all the women you're trying to save. When we make it about us, we're afraid. But when we really make it about the people we're trying to help, 
We're not afraid. And she was saying more like, it's not about what you have to do, but look at it more of what you're going to receive and how to receive and get ready to receive it. So you need to receive assistance to create these companies. You need to receive support to allow yourself more time. What could I receive today? Who could I receive assistance from? Receive your funding. Don't go get it. If you think of asking as a creative endeavor, uh, it's no, not so think scary. Of it as a chore. <laughs> you think of it as yeah. a chore. Yeah. And I'm so excited because Andrea just gave us a weekend workshop and we're going to learn even more about her tools, so I'm really looking forward to that. I offered them a gift to the Quinn Essentials, which is my two-day weekend workshop that I teach where women come from all over for two days to learn the nine tools to accomplish anything. I'm really excited they're going to join me. Her strategy and her tools about receiving, creating, asking are really, really liberating and I'm so excited to go back to my business and put those into play right away. So I just want to thank you ladies for allowing me to be here and, uh, thank, you. and thank you for what you're doing for all the women. It's amazing. See you next time on She Angels when we catch up with both winners, Artis and Melissa, as we follow their challenging, sometimes unpredictable, but always exciting entrepreneurial journeys. Next time on She Angels.